I'm James O'Shaughnessy. I'm the chair of the International Positive Education Network. Some people would ask what positive education is, and we talk about it being a double helix of two strands of equal importance. The first strand is academics. It is um, an introduction to the best that's been thought and known, the ability to uh, develop your mind and to develop all those intellectual skills um, that are so important in life. But the other strand is just as important, and that is to develop character strengths, to develop well-being, um, and for those two to be intertwined into one another in the education experience, which is a much richer, a much better way for uh, young people to develop. IPEN came together um, after Martin Seligman and I had a meeting to discuss what, it, what an education would look like if it had this purpose of, of developing the academics plus the character and well-being as well. So in 2013 we were able to pull together a summit, a positive education summit of 30 people from around the world who came together, who had never been in the same room together, to ask two questions. One was, was there a kind of common identity to what they meant by positive education? And despite important differences, we thought there was. And the second question was, is there a need for an organisation that can pull everyone together who's interested in this agenda so they can collaborate and push it forward? And that's how IPEN was born. I believe from my experience with movements that when you have a massive interest in a common goal, like educating young people to life satisfaction, education for happiness. It's very important to construct a big tent in which all the different researchers, practitioners, and stakeholders are comfortable coming together. So IPEN is a network, a big tent network, for exactly the purpose of promoting the best practices and the best research in positive education. The purpose of IPEN is really to do three things. One is to change education policy so that it promotes the character and well-being side of things as well. The second is to provide best practice um, and to spread the best practice, the best research among people who are interested in this agenda. And the third is to bring people together and collaborate. We think this is, in some ways, the third part is the most important because the strength of this movement comes from bringing people together in order to share their experiences, to challenge one another with their different ways of thinking and to go back with very practical things that they can do in their own schools and colleges and so on to introduce positive education. 